In this video, we're going to visit a state park that was the filming location for a very famous Hollywood sci-fi movie. Can you guess the movie? Stay tuned to find out and see some scenery that will make you feel like you're on another planet. Good morning! Last night we stood up super late doing night sky photography in Capitol Reef National Park. It was really special for me because I got to see a moon rise over the mountains for the first time ever. Today we're going to go to Goblin Valley State Park to do some drone photography. We start our day with a leisurely drive through Capitol Reef National Park. Capitol Reef has some very interesting geological formations, including canyons, natural bridges, and a monocline. If you'd like to know more about this underrated national park, click the link below to see our Capitol Reef video. Our main destination today is Goblin Valley State Park in Green River, Utah. This truly unique state park is 79 miles northeast from Capitol Reef, only about an hour and a half away. This drive should definitely be on the top of your road trip list. The scenery is otherworldly and astonishing. You'll feel like you're in an old western movie. After this awesome drive, we arrive at Goblin Valley State Park. The views as you enter the park are unbelievable. As soon as you get to the visitor's center, you can even pay a fee for a drone use permit in the park. So if you have a drone, this is an excellent place to take some stunning videos. Remember to always follow FAA rules and regulations. Good morning! Today we are in Goblin Valley State Park and this park is so impressive. I'm wearing this crazy outfit because it's so sunny here in the summer that in 10 minutes I was already sunburned after putting on sunscreen and wearing a hat. So I'm just gonna do that and we're gonna see all these cool goblins. Valley State Park features thousands of hoodoos, which are fantastically shaped rock formations also referred to as goblins. Hoodoos are made up of erosion-resistant rock layers above softer stone which erodes more easily. Goblin Valley State Park has such otherworldly scenery that it was actually used as an alien planet landscape in the movie Galaxy Quest. Make sure you bring extreme sun protection for this park and try to go early or later in the day if you can. Also, pro tip, bring frozen water bottles to keep hydrated and cool. They'll melt really quickly. Goblin Valley feels way bigger than you'd expect based on internet information. It has several long hiking trails and also mountain biking trails if you're into that. Like Capitol Reef, this is an excellent place to camp overnight and do stargazing and night photography. This is a very fun park for the whole family because the goblins have a unique shapes and it's really fun to think of what animals or creatures they resemble. Now we're going to go to the next part of our trip and the last leg of our trip, which is going to be Colorado in the Rocky Mountains. And this was really awesome, but it's so hot that we've just got to take off. And this is the one place we visited that we're kind of vowing to come back with the family at some point, hopefully in the winter. <laughs> We're driving 321 miles from Utah to Frisco, Colorado, which is five hours away. You can see the transition between those reddish sandstones to a green and colorful canvas full of rivers, trees, and life. Such a contrast, yet just a few hours away. We're in the 
town of Frisco in near Breckenridge, Colorado. It's like a ski resort town. It's really adorable. The mountain town of Frisco in Summit County, Colorado is a small town with a very hip vibe. A town full of young, joyful people walking the streets and having a great time, either with a good beer or a good meal. There are many hiking trails of varying lengths, a creek and a big lake. We finish our incredible day by having some German-style sausages and beer from Ein Prosit Beer Hall. I'm intrigued by one option on the menu, rattlesnake sausage. But Gabby vetoes that idea. After a long day, it's time to rest. Tomorrow, we're doing an adventurous hike in Breckenridge, Colorado, and then we're going to visit some friends in Colorado Springs. Thanks for joining us today on this adventure. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to see more amazing places, and always make today a special day.